An underwater glider is a type of autonomous underwater vehicle AUV that employs variable buoyancy propulsion instead of traditional propellers or thrusters. It employs variable buoyancy in a similar way to a profiling float, but unlike a float, which can only move up and down, an underwater glider is fitted with hydrofoils underwater wings that allow it to glide forward while descending through the water. At a certain depth, the glider switches to positive buoyancy to climb back up, and the cycle is then repeated. While not as fast as conventional AUVs, gliders offer significantly greater range and endurance compared to traditional AUVs, extending ocean sampling missions from hours to weeks or months, and to thousands of kilometers of range. The typical up and down, sawtooth like profile followed by a glider can provide data on temporal and spatial scales unattainable by ordinary AUVs and much more costly to sample using traditional shipboard techniques. A wide variety of glider designs are in use by navies and ocean research organizations and typically cost around US$100,000. History The concept of an underwater glider was first explored in the early 1960s with a prototype swimmer delivery vehicle named Concept Whisper. The sawtooth glide pattern, stealth properties and the idea of a buoyancy engine powered by the swimmer passenger was described by Ewan Fallon in his hydroglider patent submitted in 1960. In 1992, the University of Tokyo conducted tests on ALBAC, a drop-weight glider with no buoyancy control and only one glide cycle. The DARPASBIR program received a proposal for a temperature gradient glider in 1988. DARPA was aware at that time of similar research projects underway in the USSR. This idea, a glider with a buoyancy engine powered by a heat exchanger, was introduced to the oceanographic community by Henry Stommel in a 1989 article in Oceanography, when he proposed a glider concept called Slocum, developed with research engineer Doug Webb. They named the glider after Joshua Slocum, who made the first solo circumnavigation of the globe by sailboat. They proposed harnessing energy from the thermal gradient between deep ocean water 2 to 4 degrees Celsius and surface water near atmospheric temperature to achieve globe circling range constrained only by battery power on board for communications, sensors and navigational computers. By 2003, not only had a working thermal powered glider Slocum Thermal been demonstrated by Webb Research founded by Doug Webb, but they and other institutions had introduced battery powered gliders with impressive duration and efficiency far exceeding that of traditional survey class AUVs these vehicles have been widely deployed in the years since then the university of washington sea glider scripps institution of oceanography spray and teledyne web research slocum vehicles have performed feats such as completing a transatlantic journey and conducting sustained multi-vehicle collaborative monitoring of oceanographic variables. In 2011, the first wingless glider, Sea Explorer, was released with a large payload capacity, dedicating the first third of the vehicle to interchangeable payloads, in addition to typical CTD sensors. The vehicle achieves one knot speeds, is equipped with externally rechargeable Li-ion batteries and its torpedo shape is able to glide relying on two pairs of small static rear fins for stability. <laughs> Functional description Gliders typically make measurements such as temperature, conductivity to calculate salinity, currents, chlorophyll fluorescence, optical backscatter, bottom depth, and occasionally acoustic backscatter. They navigate with the help of periodic surface GPS fixes, pressure sensors, tilt sensors, and magnetic compasses. Vehicle pitch is controllable by movable internal ballast usually battery packs, and steering is accomplished either with a rudder as in Slocum or by moving internal ballast to control roll as in Sea Explorer, Spray and Sea Glider. 
Buoyancy is adjusted either by using a piston to flood, evacuate a compartment with seawater or by moving oil in, out of an external bladder sea explorer, sea glider, spray, and slocum thermal. Commands and data are relayed between gliders and shore by satellite, gliders vary in the pressure they are able to withstand. The slocum model is rated for 200 m or 1000 m depths. Spray can operate to 1,500 meters, sea glider to 1,000 meters, sea explorer to 700, and slocum thermal to 1,200. In August 2010, a deep glider variant of the sea glider achieved a repeated 6,000 meter operating depth. Similar depths have been reached by a Chinese glider in 2016. Topic. Libidade class flying wings In 2004, the U.S. Navy Office of Naval Research began developing the world's largest gliders, the Libidade class flying wing gliders, which uses a blended wing body hull form to achieve hydrodynamic efficiency. They were initially designed to quietly track diesel electric submarines in littoral waters, remaining on station for up to six months. The current model is known as the Z-Ray and is designed to track and identify marine mammals for extended periods of time. It uses water jets for fine attitude control as well as propulsion on the surface. See also AUV Argo floats Liquid Robotics – Developers of the Wave Glider Paravane – Weapon Paravane – Water Kite Deepflight Super Falcon Rivai